we have already talked about the Akash project funding, but there has been some very interesting development led by Professor Kannan. Incidentally, a whole lot of interesting applications, particularly hardware experimental applications on Akash and the Linux implementation has been done by his team. Has been done by his team. He is, of course, not only the co-PI of the T10KT project, but he is also the overall coordinator of all national mission projects and the institute is running more than eight such national mission projects in, uh, for the mission. Uh, he has come up with a new device, an affordable device, uh, which he fondly calls Netbook, which is an Android device. He will tell you more about it. Uh, but we are constantly engaged, as you know, on finding out an affordable access device to be used by masses. His work is in that direction. And for next half an hour, he'll tell you about that. Uh, thank you, uh, Professor Fartek. Thank you, Mukta, for giving this slot. Um, really happy to be here because uh, I get to see the coordinators of 200 plus remote centers in one place. Okay? Um, it's a great feeling. So, this is the netbook that uh, Professor Fatak talked about. It's uh, almost like a laptop. Almost like a laptop. Um, it has full keyboard. It has two USB drives. Uh, it has a HDMI port. And it has a RJ45, that is a LAN port. It runs a um, uh, full uh, Linux distribution. In fact, we call this distribution as FOSSI operating system. Because otherwise, you need from somebody to use the word Linux or to use the word Ubuntu. So it is our distribution. And on the computer, uh, on the screen, you see some of the things, some of the software that runs on it. In the meantime, what I will do is let me uh, fire. Um, I have not planned it properly, otherwise I would have connected this. Uh, this one does not have the serial port. Um, what I will do is I will fire Scilab in the meantime. Let the Scilab come up. Um, so here is the distribution that we have. If you can see, the size of the distribution, can you see this? where I am uh, is about 4.5 GB. By, by the way, it has a 8 GB NAND flash, 1 GB RAM. It's an A20 ARM processor. So it's a dual core. I would say that it is about at least twice as fast as uh, Akash, maybe even four times. So the users will have two, about 2 GB of working space. In addition, they can connect external devices through SD card and two full-size USB ports. We could use a 32 GB SD card that we bought for 1,100. So you pay 1,000 rupees, you can actually get a 32 GB SD card. You can use that. The, it's uh, over here. I don't want to remove it because the Linux is running out of that. Okay. Uh, by the way, this is Scilab running. We could also use a 2 TB terabyte external drive through USB. So there, there is no limit at all how much you can add, but that is all external all external, and I was um, showing this to my colleague, Professor Sudhakar, who was just, um, who happened to be here today. I told him about this uh, limitation. Oh, he said he can never fill his 16 GB pen drive, okay? He says, of course, if you download movies, then this space is not enough. For all other people, what we have is more than enough, okay? And look at the things that uh, it comes with. Uh, here is a collection of um, here is a collection of some other packages. Uh, Chromium is the uh, browser. Emacs is there. Uh, we have uh, GCC, C++ compilers, GEdit, GeoGebra for those of you into algebra geometry. GIMP is there. It's an alternative to uh, Photoshop. We have GNU plot. Inkscape, another alternative to GIMP. JMOL, it's a chemistry software. In fact, that workshop happening, uh, we are teaching 
JMOL, we can actually visualize a 3D molecule. Students have difficulty understanding how the molecules look. How come this end is close to the other end? You actually put it down, it comes like this. So you can actually see all that. Okay. Uh, K turtle for children, we have LaTeX running. By the way, Scilab is running. You can see that it's a 3D plot that I've just got out of it. Okay, Scilab is running. Uh, we have LibreOffice. LibreOffice is MS Office equivalent. Um, Octave is like Scilab. We have all Python things running. Okay, Scilab is running as I told you. TechLive is there. TechWorks. So uh, for programmers, it has um, um, Python, Perl, Ruby, Java. Of course, um, I already told about C, C++. How many of you use LaTeX? Okay, there are quite a few people who use LaTeX. Some of these actually take up a lot of space. Uh, so I just uh, opened LaTeX using a software called TechWorks. So you can see that, once again, I'm unable to show, but you can see the LaTeX file here and LaTeX um, uh, output. So some complicated mathematical equations. Okay, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, we bought uh, 1,000 of this at a cost of 4990 plus uh, tax. So the taxes work out to about 600 rupees for IIT, for an educational institution like IIT. Otherwise, it will be slightly more. In any case, it's going to be less than uh, 6,000 rupees. Uh, we are buying 1,000 of these. Uh, this is for a pilot. So we are going to do a pilot on this, using this. We are buying only 1,000, okay? As a result, um, we would, uh, we are not in a position I cannot have the large heart that Professor Fatek had to give every remote center 200, 250, 100 uh, devices because the total itself is 1,000. And we have so many other uh, uses already identified. So I have a proposal for you. It may be possible for me to allocate something like 50 to maybe 100 machines for all the remote centers put together, only 100. So, no, no, as somebody said that uh, if you distribute it, you will only have poverty, right? So what we are going to do is, we are going to find out what you did in the, with the Akash. In fact, we are going to have a web page where we will ask you to upload the information, number one. Number two, so this time we will actually carefully go through, we will analyze, find out, identify those centers that have done good work, okay, number one. Number two, we would also want you to tell us what you have done on Linux, because this is a Linux platform, what you have done on Linux, either using Akash or otherwise, that's the second one. Third one, we would want you to tell us if this device is given to you, what you will do, okay? Taking all these three into account, we will select a few centers, and then to them, we will give these netbooks, okay? Because I have only about 100. If a center is doing extremely well, I would like to give five to 10 devices so that they will contribute, because we are talking about, so what is the reason for doing pilot? I mean, in fact, uh, in the chemistry workshop I went, everybody was interested. I said, look, I can always ask the vendor because we are not getting any tax exemption, right? We are not taking any tax exemption. As an IIT, whatever we can get, we are, we are, um, we didn't go to government for uh, exemption for anything special. So at the same price, you can make it available, certainly to the academic institutions. But you can, you can buy, bring, 10,000 more devices and make them available. But supposing you take it and you find that after two days something is not working, then you will complain. IIT Bombay ne bola tha, and this is a lemon, not working. So tomorrow it will be Times of India front page news. So I don't want that to happen. 
As a result, we don't want to take the chance of ordering right now. We are just doing a pilot. We want to see how well, how well this device meet the requirements for various target audience, school level, college level, uh, arts and science, engineering, polytechnic, ITI, uh, all kinds of uh, rural areas, all kinds of uh, things we have already identified. Uh, in fact, there is a project called uh, Unnat Bharat Abhiyan. In fact, IIT Bombay was supposed to adopt, uh, um, I think, 10 villages. Uh, and then I had told them that I would give five devices each to each of these villages. But I came to know that uh, we, we are adopting 28 villages. So once again, it means all these things mean that I have less and less number of devices. But all this is for doing pilot. I believe it is a good device. I believe it is um, an excellent device because some of my colleagues in computer science uh, tried it out and said, hey, this is everything that I need. Okay, in fact, I'm going to, uh, they said that I could uh, go and uh, give a presentation to the CS faculty. So uh, uh, this, um, uh, I believe it's a great device. By the way, the battery, the biggest problem if you recall in Akash was the battery. One of the reasons is that we got a lot of um, reconditioned batteries. So this uh, current vendor, who is a different person, um, said that he would get a 5000 mAh battery, but from India. So don't want Chinese. Okay. We have, we have apparently. So he says he told me that he wants this project to be a real success, right? That he would uh, do everything. Um, so we have found that with the 5000 mAh battery, uh, this device with a YouTube video playing, that means Wi-Fi on, YouTube video playing, it came for four hours. So we believe, in fact, we have seen under normal conditions, we have seen battery coming for 8 to 10 hours. Okay? So we are talking about a good battery, good system, 700 grams. Only thing it doesn't have is hard disk. Okay? You have 3.5 GB of working space. There was also an article on this. So um, I, I, let me see if I can send a, I can share this document with you. There was also um, an article that came in uh, Mint. Did anybody see this article? No one saw this article? Okay. So this was the device I had. And um, those of you who have interested can actually look at that. The screen is not touch screen. It's a, um, it's a 10 inch screen, uh, 10 inch or 10 point something inch. I think this one says uh, something else, 10 inch only. Sorry? HDMI port is there. HDMI port is there. And then, of course, USB uh, ports are there. HDMI we wanted because one can connect to a TV directly. So uh, that's the reason. The news is that I mean, teachers in the government run colleges only can. <laughs> yeah. So actually, I don't know whether uh, any of you have interacted with uh, people in media. OK? So it's available to anybody. It's available to anybody. OK? So maybe I'll scroll out of this. <laughs> Sir, uh, my yeah. question is, yeah. I'm using Scilab software. Uh, after the class which you have taken uh, in uh, uh, that research methodology workshop, okay. I'm using Scilab for the research purpose. And I uh, came to know that uh, the Gerida cloud that's uh, that uh, web portal is available for doing uh, this, uh, running the experiments and all. But I try to upload uh, my project file and all, but it is not permitting. If an open source cloud is there, uh, uh, I mean, on behalf of IoT. For, for Scilab? Yeah, for Scilab. Yeah. So Scilab, um, good. We have set up a Garuda cloud. You're talking about Garuda cloud? Yeah, Garuda cloud. Yeah, Garuda cloud, we set up a 
uh, thing so that people could actually go and compute. Yes. Okay. We also made available textbook companions created by students from all your colleges, right? We uh, have not um, yet created a repository where public can contribute on their own. We, we have some structures, some regulations. So your students are most welcome to participate in textbook companion. We'll have them uploaded. Of course, I've been telling our people that we should think of a mechanism because what will happen is if uh, uh, people start contributing from colleges, how do you sort it? How do you, who will ensure quality? Do we say that um, uh, we cannot guarantee quality, it is up to you, use it at your own risk? We could do that. That is one way to do that. That's how the open source systems work. Whereas if you look at our uh, Scilab textbook companion, we say that the answers will be the same as in the book. That means we are gu guaranteeing some quality. So if we say that use it at your own risk, then we can make it available, people can upload. Then, so these are evolving things, uh, but we do want people to contribute. Yeah, thanks. If so, uh, if the computational, uh, sir, uh, that thing, the, if, uh, we can reduce the computational cost from the client side. Uh, I tried through these Agash tablets for working, uh, working with this Gerida Cloud. If it is open for a research community or students uh, who are doing open source projects, we can work a lot. That's a little bit, uh, small suggestion. Okay. Thank Thanks. You. Sir, I wonder how you could manage free to distribute 100 pieces. Yeah, so. And uh, from where you could manage these funds? And if you can manage for 100, why not for 300, sir? Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know Dr. Fatak uh, very well. He could do it through HR no, and uh, by is, other this is resources. Part, this is part of the Akash sir, project. Excuse me, sir. No, no, this is part of Akash project only. Achha, this yes. is an extension of Akash. There are multiple things that are happening. The next version of Akash, the specifications have been frozen by a committee. DG SND is running a tender for commercial availability. Please understand that all these pilots must result in an ecosystem being set up so that ordinary people can purchase these things in the market. That is the intention. All that we are trying to ensure is that whenever these devices become available in the market, they have meaningful content and applications available. And they are meaningful. It is towards that end that he has started this experiment. Now why 1,000 is because that was the amount of money that we had to spare within the Akash project. So therefore, we ordered 1,000. Now, we could have all used 1,000 in IIT itself, but like our T10KT project or like Akash project, we would like others to participate and contribute. Now, because the limitation is saying this, that's all. Can you not place a repeat order for some more and give all my 300 remote centers <laughs> at least two devices? Uh, we can share the poverty. <laughs> we can share the poverty. <laughs> we can share the poverty. Okay. That is doubtful. But I think his plan is correct. Only those centers which have actively been working on these devices should naturally get an opportunity to work more. It is not that others will be denied. These experiments will continue either here or elsewhere. And these devices would be available in the market. What we could do is we could let you know the details of the vendor who has supplied these tablets to us, the Delhi-based vendor. And uh, following your own procurement procedures, which are quite complicated as I understood in the morning. <laughs> you can order a few devices for experimentation on your own as well. It's not a problem. But the Linux distribution, the applications that run on it are all in open source and they will be kept in the repository by Professor Kannan. You can download them and upload it on those devices. It's not a problem. Okay. Thank you, okay. Professor Kannan. So I'm finishing. I have time. Yeah. Give him a big hand for